It's on my teeth. Oh. <laughs> Ready spaghetti sauce. Hey beauty junkies, welcome back. It's Annabelle here. In today's video, I'm taking you through some dark skin approved nude lip combos. So let's get into it. So I always like to start with a brown lip liner just to help to bridge the transition between skin tone and lipstick. So for the first look, I'm going to be using Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. It's a really nice rich brown with like a red undertone. I'm gonna be using that with Deep Thoughts from Smashbox. So they look super different on my hand, but when it's on my lips, it's gonna look amazing, I promise. I like to start on the outer edge, just to help to curl it outwards and round out your lips. I like to bring in the color just a little bit more than just the lip line, so it again bridges that transition. And then dab the color in the center. Try not to swipe, because it's gonna give you way too much color payoff. And then just with a finger, I'm just blending it in. So the Smashbox Always On Lipsticks are from their matte collection, so they last a solid eight hours. So if you have a busy day ahead, this is a good one to go for. And then I just like to reline. So since chestnut is quite a warm brown, I feel like it complements the lipstick really well and brings out the peachy tone. Look one, Annabelle approved. So next up I have Well from MAC. This one is still a matte, but since it's a bullet, it does go on a lot more creamy than a liquid lipstick. And I'm wearing that with Whiskey from Urban Decay, which is definitely more of like a cool tone brown. So same procedure, just lining the outside with lip liner and then going in the center with a bit of the lipstick. So again, I'm just dabbing the color ever so slightly. And naturally my bottom lip is a little bit lighter than my top lip, so I would apply more um, to the bottom. It's all about making it look as natural and seamless as possible. So it's my lips, only a little bit better. Look number two, Annabelle approved. So for my next look, gonna get a little bit glossy. I'm going in with the Too Faced Lip Oil in Papa Don't Peach and Chestnut again from MAC. See, I told you it's all about that lip liner when it comes to nudes. So I'm shading in the top lip a little bit more just because this gloss is particularly light. So I'm taking a little bit and then dabbing it out. It smells so good. So if you wanna add more pigment, just keep it in the center, keep it pretty tight. So glosses are great for like everyday, like light makeup situations, if you know what I mean. So this is definitely a good one to go for. Look three, Annabelle approved. So for look number four, we're going back to matte. This is the Power Matte Pigment from NARS in the shade Slow Ride. And again, taking Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. So the Power Mattes from NARS are by far my favorite liquid lipstick formula, just because they're so lightweight, it feels like you're wearing absolutely nothing and they don't crack and crumble on the lips. So since this is the lightest formula that I'm working with, I just take one dot and then spread it nice and evenly along the bottom. And then another dot on the top. I'm telling you guys, the power of lip liner. Look number four, Annabelle approved. Look number five, we have the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Area. Since this one's more of a darker, like chocolatey brown on its own, I'm gonna put it on without lip liner, but feel free to wear liner if you want to. So this one has a bit more of a shine to it, but it feels like velvet on the lips. So it's super comfortable for all day wear. So this one is by far the easiest. So simple, you can do it with your eyes closed. Look number five, Annabelle approved. And that's all from me. Tell me what your favorite nude combos are in the comments down below, and also what looks you'd like to see next. Make sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.